Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome back to Man vs Film, and it's another Blu-ray pickup this time. I have four discs to show you here. Uh, one is an actual TV series. It is Quatermass. Uh, the John Mills one from, let's see which year it was. Um, 1979. Yes, I could have been more prepared, but that's just not my style. So I recently watched the, the old Quatermass movies and TV uh, series, and I, and I loved them. Uh, certain aspects of them anyway I, I thought they were both pretty good movies and I'm quite interested to see this reimagining now I picked this up for 2 99 off network itself and I thought it's a no-brainer for that price and I'm really quite interested to see what it has to offer the special features are quite good as well it's got the crater mass conclusion an alternative feature length edit newly restored in HD um, it's got episode recaps it has kind of usual stuff like image gallery trailers and it has a booklet by a TV historian. Uh, it feels quite a thick one as well because the package is really quite heavy. I picked up Blood Harvest as well, um, which is also called Nightmare, I believe, which is number 34 on the Slasher Classics collection. I picked this one up because it's going out of print. There's something happened with the rights, there's something went uh, haywire somewhere along the line and they were only doing one print run of this and when it's gone, it's gone. So I know it's going to go up in value. I, I know it's going to just Go up there. I don't know a thing about the movie. I've seen the trailer. It looks kind of odd and strange, as most of these movies kind of are. And I'm willing to give it a shot. And I know that I will more than recruit my money if I decide to pass it on. Another one I picked up recently is Amazonia: The Catherine Mills Story. I recently watched a couple of cannibal movies. I assumed this was another cannibal movie, and it's not. It's more a survivalist jungle romance type of movie, but it's equally as awesome. I absolutely love this movie. I've got a review up on my channel that you can go and check out and it's basically just about this girl whose parents are murdered. She is taken captive by this tribe and she is integrated into it. She doesn't understand their customs, it's hard for her to get to it and she kind of becomes part of the, of the tribe and it's it's pretty good man. It's really kind of interesting. I, I kind of liked it. It grew on me. started off kind of choppy but I, I quite pretty quickly went into it uh, and I loved the lead actress I thought she was terrific I loved kind of the fake kind of gore that I had going as well and I just had a lot of fun with this movie uh, one more that came out from 88 Films and that is Eyeball uh, directed by Umberto Lindsay who's uh, recently watched in Cannibal Ferox his movie and this is one of their new premium packages comes with a really nice slip cover comes with postcards a, a good booklet that kind of encapsulates Lindsay's career it's a really interesting read and then we have the movie itself which is a giallo but it's one of the best at really just hamming it up with everybody as a suspect it's a busload of tourists arrive in Barcelona to tour around somebody starts killing them off and everybody's a suspect literally everybody the only people that you know didn't do this are the victims it's great and it actually has a really good reason at the end of it is why the person is doing what they're doing and how they get caught. It, it wraps up pretty well. Some of the giallos are a bit wacky when they get to that, but this one's pretty good. I love the kind of filming of it. And this was a, a really nice package because it's got a documentary on it on Umberto Lindsay, which is 84 minutes in length. And it is fascinating, really giving you a lot about this director and the kind of movies that he had a hand in making. Of course, with these type of things, I walked away with a laundry list of movies that I am just going to have to see at some point. And that's going to be in more Blu-ray pickup videos, no doubt. So there we have it. That's what I've picked up for this video. Let me know in the comment box below if you've seen any of these, what you think of them, if you have any recommendations along these type of movies that I could possibly pick up. Leave them there. I'll check them out and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.